Chris, thanks for visiting this Zoo Weekly Reading from March the 12th to March the 18th. And as always, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment. And again, as always, there's some noisy thing going on outside my window. I don't know what it is. I'm going to try and ignore it as usual. I'm used to this by now. You probably are too. And yes, I've shuffled. Everything's ready. So let's start your reading for Aries. I'm just going to get right into this. Um, the first card you have you passed is the Eight of Swords. Yes, I'm just seeing this could be to do with a work situation. I am seeing a work situation. Yes, you're trapped in a work situation, or you were at this time. This is in your past. Um, yes, there's something you agreed to do, I'm seeing, and it turned out to be um, a lot more difficult or more work. There was a lot more work involved than you actually thought when you agreed to do this thing. Um, I'm just getting a sense of this feeling trapped. I'm feeling really trapped, actually, when I look at this. Obviously, this woman's trapped. She has ropes around her and a, a blindfold. She's trapped. And um, that's how you were feeling at this time. You, that's how you were feeling by this work um, thing. You had a lot of other things, actually, you had to do and you needed to do. But this was taking up nearly all of your time at this time. Um, and I'm also getting this feeling that... Um, you just wanted to do this because you were obliged to do this. You didn't want to disappoint people. People were waiting for you to do this, to help them out or do whatever you wanted, whatever they expected you to do. And yes, I am seeing more than one person relying on you. Um, but you felt that you couldn't let people down. You just had to do this thing, even though it was exhausting you and you just felt trapped by it and you wanted to break through and free and do other things that you wanted to do. I'm also seeing that... Um, Yes, I see this all the time. I see this all the time um, in your readings. You can be a perfectionist. So there was a way to finish things faster or a way to do things maybe more efficiently that could have helped you to get this over and done with. But you didn't want to compromise on something. You're such a perfectionist. You wanted to make sure everything was perfect. And nothing's ever perfect. Nothing is. But that's how you were at this time. And I see this come up all the time. Um, in your readings, you're feeling trapped by this, trapped by this work thing you had to do, you're obliged to do um, for other people. But yes, you're trapping yourself in a way, you're trapping yourself because you're making this take a lot longer than it actually needed to take for you. That's what I'm seeing there. So yes, the next card you have you passed is the Knight of Swords. So I'm seeing this is for single people, for single people who are looking for a relationship. Um, I'm actually seeing someone who you were going backwards and forwards with a bit for a while. This was going on for a long, long time. There was a lot of tension around this, a lot of kind of sexual tension or a lot of um, attraction going on. But then, you know, there was a backing off and coming back. But you're actually just friends with this person. That's what I'm seeing. But there was a lot of maybe flirting going on. And I'm seeing that actually in the beginning you, you could have been hopeful or they could have been hopeful, one of you was hopeful, that this would actually turn into a relationship. But then I'm seeing one of you wasn't sure for some reason or the other person wasn't sure and then there was this backing off and a little bit of flirting again and this backing off again. I keep on seeing this backwards and forwards and never quite getting there, wanting to rush in but not quite doing that. But the other thing I'm seeing is that this person could be subscri sorry, not, not subscribing. Why am I saying sub surprising you? <laughs> subscribing. Oh dear. Yes, this person could be subscribing surprising you. I still can't say surprising. Surprising you. They're going to be surprising you with some information I'm seeing in the future. You're in contact with this person quite a lot. You're not out of contact with them. Again, this is a friendship. I'm seeing this is a friendship. There's some flirting still going on, or there was at this time. Probably still is. And yes, I'm seeing this surprise. They're going to surprise you some inf with some information. They want to tell you something. They want to say something to you. That's what I'm seeing. This is in your past, but I'm just seeing someone thinking about how they're going to tell you something, how they're going to approach you. So it could be really a bit worried about how they're going to tell you this thing. But this is positive news. This is positive news for them. But they just weren't sure um, how they're going to tell you this at this time. So you'll probably hear this news from them very soon. Maybe not. I, it might be soon, but they're still kind of agonizing over how to tell you this. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have you passed is the star. So yes, someone finds you really attractive, could be more than one person, but there's one particular person who finds you really, really attractive, or they didn't at this time. I'm seeing, in, this is very strange, because you, you enjoy people finding you attractive. 
But then you feel very vulnerable when people do. If you look at this woman, she's so, so beautiful. She's so beautiful, but she's naked. She's naked, she's vulnerable. And the position that you're in when you look at this card is you're kind of like a voyeur in a way, you're watching her. And she doesn't know you're watching her, she's just busy with whatever she's doing. But she is vulnerable. That's how I'm seeing this card at this time, because I'm seeing someone was physically attracted to you, but I'm not, I'm not getting an easy feeling when I see this. I'm feeling that you felt a little bit vulnerable, a little bit uneasy with this person feeling this way towards you. Even a little bit creepy, I'm not seeing there's a creepy person stalking you, maybe they were, but you, that's how you felt, that's how you were feeling, regardless of whether they were creepy or whether they were just attracted to you or just very open with it, telling you about that. You felt really odd, strange, creepy with this person and a little bit vulnerable. And you do feel like that every time you go into a really relationship or a situation where someone is attracted to you and you know it, you do feel this vulnerability that's what I keep on getting but especially at this time with this one person who was really attracted but if this resonates I just hope you got away from this uneasy feeling because even if they were honest and they weren't actually creepy or anything like that you don't want to be feeling like that around someone and that gives you an indication that they're not the right person for you anyway uh, yes that's just what I'm seeing with that um, star so the first card you have your present is the king of wands Yes, again, I'm seeing this backwards and forwards, this backwards and forwards energy with this person. Um, and you're a bit like this as well. They're like this and you're like this. And you might be doing this with each other. They might feel like, oh, you're backing off, so I'll do that. And then you come back and then they come back. It might be something like that. You're kind of, um, yes, you're kind of doing this because the other person's doing it, if that's, I don't know who started it, doesn't matter who started it, you're going backwards and forwards with this um, kind of energy. There is an attraction, there's an attraction between you, um, but as the time passes I'm seeing you're just friends, you were friends, and you're probably just going to be staying friends, that's what I'm seeing. You're just comfortable being friends with them, that's what I'm seeing, and they're comfortable like that. You, you've come into this, you've, you've come into this set pattern, this comfortable way of being with this person, that's what I'm seeing. And you're just used to things like this and you're comfortable with them like this and I think if you if turned into anything more um, it would be really strange for you and probably for this person there's still an attraction there but yes I am still seeing this person wants to tell you something they still want to tell you something so at this time they're still going to be thinking about how they're going to tell you this information it could be some sort of a confession I'm seeing they need to make this confession. I'm seeing that there's some sort of deadline and they want to tell you something or confess something to you by this time. But it's not negative. It's not negative. It's, it's not negative at all. Um, I hope this makes sense, but I'm just seeing that... Um, yes, they're feeling like time's running out. Time's running out on this thing they want to tell you. They want to tell you, but they're having trouble telling you. They're not sure how they're going to tell you. But if they don't tell you, um, you'll find out somehow. This will come out somehow, that's what I'm seeing. So the next card you have here present is the Two of Cups. So yes, again, again, again for single people, again, you have this friendship with this person. There's still an attraction between you. There probably always will be a tiny bit of flirty kind of attraction between you. But I'm seeing you probably will um, just settle as friends. You are comfortable as friends. I keep on seeing this. There's a little bit of self-consciousness coming out with this as well. I'm seeing this. But that could be your kind of um, feeling self-conscious anyway. Even if you get close to friends sometimes, you can be a bit self-conscious for some reason. People don't see you that way. I'm seeing they don't see you as self-conscious, but that's how you are. That's how you are on the inside. Maybe this person could be picking up on this. This is a very intuitive person, a very intuitive person. You've known this person for a long time, and this person definitely wants you in their life. They want you in their life. They couldn't imagine not having you in their life. And again, I'm just seeing you probably settled as friends. And yes, again, they have something um, they want to tell you, definitely. It's not a bad thing, but they're just a bit worried about how they're going to tell you. I'm not sure what this is. I wish I could tell you what this is. The last card you have your past is the Four of Wands. So yes, I'm actually seeing that um, someone could be traveling. Someone could be traveling to come to be near you or traveling to come and see some people near you. I'm seeing some sort of family 
not a reunion, not a big celebration, but some sort of family gathering. People want to come and see other family members, and there is a lot of travelling involved. That's what I'm seeing. Um, people travelling to meet other people. And this is family. This is family. And you have a lot of um, both positive and negative energy going around your family. There are some people that you really are positive toward. There are some people that you are absolutely the opposite toward. I'm seeing this is going to be some sort of positive um, gathering. That's what I'm seeing. There's not going to be negativity here. The first card you have in your future is the Ten of Pentacles. So yes, I'm just seeing with this card... Yes, I'm seeing that you've been feeling this uneasiness, uneasiness. You've been stressed about money for a long time. You weren't sure where you're going to be financially for a long, long time. You've had a few financial breaks, but you're still very, very feeling very insecure. This is how you're feeling. This does not, this does not um, mean that you're in an insecure, unstable situation financially. It's just how you're feeling about it. This is how you're feeling about it. And you're still going to be feeling like this at this time for some reason. I am getting this really uneasy feeling around this. I'm also seeing that you are going to have stability. What I'm seeing is in the future you're going to have a big, huge change financially. It's going to be very positive. This is in your more distant future. You don't have to worry. This is to do with your talents. This is going to bring you a big, huge financial um a windfall but financial stability in your future but at the moment you you're still you're still stable you're still financially stable you're able to cover everything you need you're able to be as comfortable as you need to be at this time there's no problem you're a hard worker um, your perfectionism can be a barrier for you to move forward so just watch out for that I keep on seeing that um, I'm seeing you also running around at this time trying to do a lot of things at the same time but I am seeing financial security for you you were over worrying about this and you are going to be at this time in your future. But you're worrying unnecessarily. You're worrying unnecessarily. But you're always worrying unnecessarily. That's what I keep on seeing in your readings. The next card you have in your future is the Ten of Wands. So yes, again, I'm seeing this very, very literally. You're going to be working very, very hard. Maybe not working as efficiently as you should be. This perfectionism, this perfectionism you have could be making you restart things over and over again. You're stopping, you do something, you think it's finished, and they say, no, no, I'm going to throw that in the rubbish bin. Start all over again. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. And that's making you slow down. You're not getting things done because you're just starting things over and over and over again, and it's not an efficient way to be. You know, this. I, I just keep on seeing this repetition. I see this all the time. It's like you want to get more done. You really think, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to do this and this and this. And then you have these setbacks because you feel like you're not good enough. You are good enough. You're more than good enough. You're very, very capable. You're very talented. I can see that. Okay. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is a genius. He was a genius of his time. He only finished four or five paintings. He thought he wasn't good enough. Can you imagine? He thought he wasn't good. He was a genius. He invented, he invented aeroplanes, he invented contact lenses before the technology was even available for these things to happen. And, you know, he the most famous painting in the world, the Mona Lisa, the Giocondo, which is the most famous, everyone in the world goes all the way over to um, the Louvre in Paris to see that painting. He is a genius. He was a genius. Probably no other genius like him. He thought he wasn't capable. He thought he wasn't good enough. That's like you. You're not Leonardo da Vinci, but you're very capable. You're very, very good. And you feel that you're not good enough. Don't let this stop you from out putting out as much as you possibly can. I'd love to see 500 Leonardo da Vinci paintings, but they're not there. Why are they not there? Because he thought he wasn't good enough. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. That's what I'm seeing there. Don't keep going backwards. Go forwards. Go forwards and you'll come into this very successful time a lot sooner than you will be if you keep on going backwards. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have in your future is the Eight of Wands. So this could be about this person in the Two of Cups I'm seeing, this lovely friend that you have who's worried about telling you something. That's what I keep seeing. There's a deadline. They're seeing this deadline. They're probably going to talk to you at this time because I'm seeing a lot of communication. This is the communication card going backwards and forwards. But I am seeing it's... It's, it's communication that's going to start. 
And it's very intense communication. This is a very important thing to them that they want to tell you about. It's going to start, then it's going to stop, then it's going to start again. That's what I'm seeing. These conversations are going to be very, very intense between you. They're not bad conversations. They're not arguments. Don't worry about that. This person really cares about you. Um, they're just very intense, very intense. They're going to start, they're going to stop, they're going to start. You're both no, going to need a break from these when they happen because they're just very intense. You can't go on with this level of deep conversation for that amount of time at once. It has to stop and start again. That's what I'm seeing. Um, yes, they're going to go backwards and forwards with this conversation, but it is going to happen. I'm seeing they are going to tell you this thing they really want to tell you at this time. So Aries, I hope this resonated, but as you know, general readings can't always resonate with every single person. General readings, I'm trying to say. I'm trying to hurry to get this um, message out as quickly as I can on these messages. Um, but if you liked this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to, of course. And thank you so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate it.